see this and yeah this as well and yeah this oh yeah this too you see them all do you know what they all have in common well i'm giving you guys three seconds to guess it you're right wrong they all came from the brand called mischief i'm pretty sure y'all have heard of this brand by now and by that i mean you've seen their products like these ones with influencers having their products and wearing huge red boots that just came out you must have seen photos of this brand at least like three times in your Instagram feed. But do you really know much about the brand? Well, today I did what must be done and I went into the brand and looked into what this brand is all about and why is it so successful? I'd say it's quite difficult to define what kind of brand Mischief is as they release some of the most absurd things ever. But the common definition of Mischief is an American art collective that was formed in New York back in 2016. The brand was founded by Gabriel Whaley. It's a creative brand that knows how to release controversial items from every drop. The brand that made pretty much every single thing that you can think of. Shoes, clothes, artworks, car keys, AI generated photos. I bet that you can name a random thing right now. And the next thing you know, Mischief is coming out with that exact product that you just had in mind. What, you think you're slick? Oh nah man, they've already thought of the exact same thing bro. Now Mischief is definitely not a fashion brand because all of their drops are basically random crap that are really creative and super innovative that goes for a crazy price. Some of their past drops included things like rubber chicken bong, a Windows computer containing six different computer viruses, the Birkenstock, which was basically a Birkenstock slipper but made with Birkin bags. Yes, they bought Birkin bags, like actual Bruh. Birkin bags, and made them into slippers that they called Birkenstock. In one of their drops, they even had a thing where you could pay them 35 bucks for a car. But the catch is, only a small amount of the consumers actually received an actual working car, like an actual one-to-one -one car, while the others only got a toy car. They basically have an app that notifies people whenever they have a new drop coming up. So yeah, marketing genius. One of the reasons why the brand is so successful is due to their marketing strat. Mischief is really, really, really good at creating controversial products that will make everyone go nuts. Let's say you see someone talking about a brand named Mischief. It's coming out with a pair of shoes named Satan Shoes, and it has human blood in it. Or let's just say you hear someone talking about this is the same brand that tried to sell paintings that were made out of medical bills of Americans. This is exactly what Mischief has done and one of the selling points of their products. Controversy. The brand knows exactly how to create controversy and just how to not cross the line. Uh, other than the Satan shoes, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it right there. Despite all the controversies it has created, the brand has still remained as an interesting and widely appreciated brand with quite a huge loyal fan base. Gabriel Whaley the chief executive of Mischief stated that they can do whatever they want and that they want people to be fans of the brand and not the products. They have truly succeeded in basically all aspects of this since there are tons of people waiting on each drop and their stuffs basically sell out within minutes. Their ideas of extremely experimental art collectibles are also another thing that solidifies their prominence in the modern pop culture scene. Their products are basically something that we might have dreamt of once and they actually make it come true. That is exactly why Mischief is so successful in the field of production and creativity. I find Mischief as a really creative and smart brand that's really good at coming up with new ideas and they really 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 know how to market their stuff. Right now, I don't really see any other brands doing it like Mischief, and I've gotta say, their stuff rarely fails to surprise. Their products are always innovative no matter what, they're always sure that they won't do the same thing twice while limiting the items in every single drop to a small number. They pretty much nailed to the low supply but high demand strat. Their products are always really, really mysterious, and as consumers, we'll never fully grasp what's the full image and meaning behind each product that they come out with. Gnarly brand, man. Gnarly brand. Guys, uh, I might make this a series where I talk about like different, you know, brands and discuss about it. 
and like talk about like how is the brand so successful and how did the brand come to where it is today. I might make this a series, so yeah, tell me what you think. I might keep doing this.